In late January of 2013, we traveled to Freeport, Minnesota to visit the rebuilt Swanee White Flour Mill. We visited with Gary Thielen, the third generation of millers in his family, and the current owner. You know, I actually started coming to the mill when I was 10 years old to pack 10 pound bags of flour. You know, we'd come on Saturdays, you know, me and another guy, we'd come and pack 10 pounders on Saturdays. You know, they'd save the flour from the week before. We'd pack 10 pounders for the week, you know, and like I say, I just grew up with it. I worked, you know, on the farm too. We were farmers also. It's been a family business for so long. I'm sure it was, I know, well, I know it was the only one in the state. I don't know about the country, but but I know it was the oldest mill in the state of Minnesota. You know, that's the saddest part, the history that burnt that night, you know. I mean, we had old sacks on the, you know, the old flour sacks, the old cloth sacks, and which you guys probably saw when you were there. Um, you know, pictures, you know, that was the saddest part, you know. And the insurance companies put no value on that. I was milling, actually milling white flour, um, and Ron, my employee, he went to clean the rolls, which he did, we did every night. You know, we, the grinders on the main floor, we oiled every two hours, and so he had some spillage on the floor, so every night he wiped those up, and I was packing white flour, you know, bagging it off the, off the mill. And all of a sudden, I, th I thought I smelled wood burning. And I thought, this is strange. You know, it's December. You know, um, you know, usually in the fall, you know, the neighbors are, you know, burning leaves or, or you know, stuff like that. So, so I, uh, all of a sudden, Ron goes, Gary, you know, yelled my name. And I said, what? And I looked in the, in the break room. There's smoke coming up from the basement already. So I thought I just shut down. You know, it's my you know, if you have problems you shut down, which you know we did pretty regularly. And uh by the time I realized what was going on, the smoke or the fire was already coming out of the, the ceiling, so actually I had a trucker from next door here from Famo said came running in the mill, he goes, do you know you fire coming out of the roof? I said, what? Which I hadn't realized, you know. I was on the, the main floor, and this was on the third floor, and I had been up there like hour and a half earlier. Everything was fine. And like I say, when I saw the roof come, or the fire coming out of the ceiling, I thought, this is not good. It was a tough day. Thankfully for Gary's customers, he rebuilt on the same location and is open for business once again. Open retail traffic Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30, and like I say, 8 to noon on Saturdays. And I am working, you know, to get my wholesale business, a lot of my wholesale business back. I actually go to the cities myself. I have a truck, you know, probably once every two to three weeks. You know, to deliver. If you're familiar with Bix Produce, they go to restaurants, which is kind of a good fit, you know, because they also probably make their own bread. And I have, uh, you know, clients out east too. I have one in, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is back, which was a, a good a good customer before the fire. Even when Dad owned the place, we were selling him as well. And then I have a couple other Counts out there. One's in New Concord, New Hampshire. They make uh, organic chicken pot pies. One old milling machine was salvaged from the rubble of the burnt down mill, and today Gary is using it to make most of his specialty products.
looks like ground up. Gary is proud of some of the new equipment he's been using too. I got a mixer, I got an all fill, I have a sealer, which these guys are working on. And I've got the mill, which I grind the uh, whole wheat, the rye, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, ingredients for the bread mixes. You know, I, you know, like the six grain, I have to coarse grain stuff for that. Um, and I have a nine grain mix, which, you know, that takes a little bit of, you know, grinding. Six dollars. Most of the Swanee White product line is organic and growing in popularity. So I have organic oatmeal. Uh, the rye is organic, which I don't label it that way, but it is. Uh, the whole wheat on the other side is organic. You know, like the nine grain, the buckwheat. You know, the nine grain is probably 90% organic. You know, the ingredients I use. Um, but I have commercial oatmeal, um, cornmeal. Over here I have organic flaxseed. All the bread mixes are organic. The pancake mix is not organic, but we're thinking about. Of course, the finely ground white flour from which the company takes its name is still a staple of the business, both retail and wholesale. For years, my family has used Swanee White products. And we're glad this family-owned business is continuing its century-old tradition of milling small grains, even after a tragic fire.